What's up guys? So I've been iced in here in Middle Tennessee for several days now. Got a little stir crazy. Went ahead and cleaned up the room. The parts of the room you don't actually see. Let's go take a look at them right now. The 2024 room tour. Let's get into it now. All right, so let's start the room tour. It's been, man, it's been almost like two years since I did a room tour and I thought, you know what? It's about time to do another one. So let's check it out right now. So I got a bunch of Billy bookcases over on this side of the room. This is an area that nobody ever sees. And so I'll show you what it is right now. So a bunch of Billy bookcases over here. And on the far left Billy bookcase over here, we have a bunch of supplies. I got some slabs in the bottom, got some uh, free comic book day stuff in those white bins. And then I got those Marvel Retro 3.75s all the way across the top. Got some Funko Pops and action figures, all different kinds of stuff, TMNT, Jurassic Park, lots of Transformer stuff, just like, you know, a bunch of random figures, Star Wars, got Steel Streets down there, Marvel United, cool little game. Got that going on over there. Let's go take a peek at all these Marvel Retros. They're doubled up right here, all the way down to the end over here. This is like my old lightsaber, that one's very very old it lights up and everything still thankfully got some legos and random action figures and then we have some other things over here just some more figures and whatnot um we got tons and tons of pops these are like three rows deep in here got a bunch of goosebumps books down there trying to collect all that from my childhood bunch of um you know magazine size and larger comics down here and trade paperbacks and then I got a whole bunch down there in the shelf. And then of course the load bearing wall that is Frank Miller's Sin City Hard Goodbye Curator's Edition. And then just a ton more pops. This little stand right here, this comic stand, my wife found it, I think at a Goodwill or something like that. It's like a magazine stand and we're just uh, repurposing it for that. So it's pretty cool. Of course my daughter likes to draw. This is when she was super, super little. Just drawing me and her. All right, so let's get over here. This is uh, the background that you're used to seeing. So what's going on over here? So again, the Billy Bookcase shelves loaded up. I think in my other video, I had just maybe three of these. I've expanded it to what, five? And uh, man, I'm still running out of room. But what I decided to do was I do like a little showcase, you know, mix some comics with action figures across the top shelf. I have like my little channel homage area over here with my uh, comic book community award for best new channel back in 2021. Got to step it up and get another one of those this year. Like my little Batman showcase. Then we have like Indie Row, I think over here. I don't know. You got Usagi, you got Concrete, and then I got a bunch of like kayfabe stuff over here. So pretty cool. And then of course I got my Walking Dead little shrine over here. Added some manga on this shelf and my, all my little Walking Dead books down there, deluxe editions in the back and everything. And then of course, all the comic books across the bottom. Now all these are alphabetical order, so they start in A in the top left over there, and they snake around, I think it's about N, that top shelf over there, and then it snakes back around, and then it goes all the way through to Z on the other side. And if I ever need extra room, I'll just take over those two bottom shelves right down there. I bake in buffers with these little white uh, boxes right there. So if I ever need more room, I just take out a box and there's my room. All right, let's take a look at the Legos again. No new Legos since the last video, I don't think, but I'll show you what I got up here just in case you haven't seen that video. Got some, got Chewbacca. That was my wife's helmet. I was really into Star Wars Legos back in the day. Not so much anymore. Got my TMNT corner over here. Those pops in the back are the original OG line. And then I have my old NES game. And then I have my old, old uh, Raphael. And then I got this new line of toys right there. OG Splinter. And then just like a little shrine to everything Marvel and Star Wars and whatever else. Up on top, me and my wife met Norman Reedus, and she was pregnant at the time with our daughter. He got to uh, sign her shirt, so that was really cool. A little ass kicker. And then we had a local artist do a little portrait of us ripping each other's hearts out as zombies, so that was pretty cool. 
This is the three world, three moon substack. One of the rewards, it's like an autographed little print there. Met Kevin Eastman and Guy Gilchrist. Got their autographs and a remark. And here's some original artwork from Madi Keen. Some Jeff Johnson original artwork for Fantastic Four. Little commission piece I got from Staybrook, Barry McLean. Awesome Billy the Kit, Something's Killing the Children homage. Good old Erica. Little print right there. Then the books I decide to put on my shelf, um, usually my higher end stuff, I have some boxes. I'm going to show you what I do with the other stuff. I don't put really expensive books in the bookshelves below. And these are just books I just love the covers of and I want to show them off. Most of these slabs I got slabbed from, you know, like the raw books. That Superman is, I bought that one um, slabbed already. Same thing with that X-Men and that cap. Everything else though, I think I got slabbed myself. All right, let's go over to the arcade section. So in this side of the room is all arcades. This one here, the Marvel Super Heroes, one of the first ones I got. Love that one. I didn't do any modifications to that one. This black one here, the second one on the left, that one I built from scratch. I actually traced out some of the panels from another arcade. I think it was the Space Invaders one. And uh, I cut it out of board, MDF board, got a monitor, got my own buttons, got a Raspberry Pi, and just built my own, own arcade. So there's that. The Final Fight one. That one is stock as well. And the Space Invaders one, I put a volume reducer on there because that thing is so loud <laughs> when you get the volume up even on low that thing is ridiculously loud so yeah there's the arcade my desk area this is what you all see in my videos just some ikea parts i bought these countertops right here just sanded them and stained them got my double monitors kind of show you the back end over here I have some lights set up just to help light the room. Just a ring light. I have two LED panel lights. And then I have these big box lights when I need just ambient lighting. And the micro microphone stand. Then over here, I typically put my favorite books of the week in that white binder. And those two plastic cases, I put my higher end keys. So if there's a fire, I just grab those and everything off the shelf. So yeah, I'll put links in the description down below on some products that I actually use. They won't be affiliate links or anything like that. They're just things that I use that I think you might um, be interested in. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about the setup here and I'll be glad to answer that. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the room tour guys. Take it easy.